a place in space, a point in time. Genoa Township, Ohio, 2023. Like every year before it, roads were paved, lives saved, neighborhoods patrolled, permits issued, ballots cast, time and talent gifted. The year held special significance for the fire department as their 50th anniversary was celebrated. The zoning department processed 357 zoning permit applications. The zoning commission acted upon four cases and the board of zoning appeals decided 16 cases in 2023. However, their most significant accomplishment was amending the comprehensive plan and zoning resolution to address long-standing community concerns regarding residential development densities. Symbolic of the new era of the department, a portion of the old police station was demolished using grant funds. Shortly thereafter, a new chief, James McMillan, was appointed following the retirement of Stephen Gamble. Also part of the Genoa Township family is therapy dog Maverick, who completed certification, enabling him to finally get to work at Westerville Central High School, just like his big brother Rocky at Genoa Middle School. With a focus on safety, the maintenance department installed seven new rapid flashing beacons and four digital speed limit signs. 15 roads were resurfaced for a total of 9.42 miles. Fun is also of top importance to the maintenance department as they oversee the township parks. A playground renovation at Township Hall has reinvented the space, attracting many residents to the park. Over at Hillmar Park, a walking path was paved, encircling the pond. Special events are another fun part of township life that help residents feel a connection to their community and develop a bond between us. The township hosted its usual events in 2023 with a couple of new additions. The egg hunt was transformed into a bunny hop where participants could engage without worrying about age limits or a heated competition. The firefighters annual toy drive was celebrated with Santa himself at a renewed township event at McNamara Park featuring crafts, cocoa, and a tree lighting. These accomplishments were shared with our community throughout the year in real time on a new improved website. A successful year with many achievements is no surprise. Residents have come to know Genoa Township is consistent and reliable. If you examine each achievement in more detail, you'll see stories revealed about the people who make Genoa Township so special. A woman advancing in a traditionally male field, been a very busy two years. I started out as a maintenance worker with the township and um, in 2023 I was approached with the opportunity to become the deputy director and uh, be Bob Matthews right hand lady. So I took that opportunity and I'm currently filling in for Bob while he's been off for a little while as the uh, acting director. I have a long history of my family being involved in either highway maintenance or heavy highway construction. So it kind of runs in the blood for me. So I, I uh, took on this adventure back in 2007 and I loved it. I, I started out as an apprentice with the state and uh, my career has grown from there. I've done many, many different uh, jobs and projects throughout my 17 years. And, I would say Genoa by far is definitely my, my favorite place and I've definitely found my home here. Uh, my department accomplished quite a bit this year. Um, we're very proud of the hard work we put into our parks and keeping our parks maintained and beautiful for the community to use, which in turn resulted in our levy being renewed this year. So that's a, that's a huge accomplishment for us and we're very proud of that. Um, we also um, c completed hundreds of customer service requests a paramedic walking into a stranger's home to save their life. On this particular run, uh, when the radio communicated that you know, CPR was in progress, and it's like, okay, we need to just dial it in and do what we do. You know, everybody was doing CPR. We had a, an airway placed, a, a tube in his throat to breathe for him. Uh, so we were controlling that. We were doing chest compressions. We had given some medications. Uh, it shocked him, I believe, three times. Uh, and moving to the truck uh, 
we had some markers pop up on the monitors, we're moving, and we knew something's working in our direction. They, they marked it as a time marker on the radio, so um, I was with the wife again, I put her in the SUV where I'm chasing the medic to the hospital. Um, you know, and here's a lady who's describing to me she's not ready to give up. You know, she's not ready for this to be over. And, you know, and you could tell that they had a special relationship um, already. And, and, you know, so when I got that message over the radio, um, it, it, I don't know, I can say it was, you know, about my feeling, but seeing her face to be able to say, hey, listen, he, what that means is he does have his own heartbeat, but we still have a long road ahead of us, you know. Okay, we got a heartbeat back. Everything seemed great. It's it's now up to, you know, the hospital and the, the powers that be uh, to, to make that next step. So we cleared a hurdle and, and we're back to another, another event. We're cleaning up and going to something else. You hope that the outcome that we got was the outcome that happens to every one of them, but the odds just aren't there. A deputy chief with sights set on achieving the next higher rank. So 2023 was, was a big year. There was a lot of transition. I started 2023 as a lieutenant and ended 2023 as a chief of police. It was a fast paced year. So I started here when I was 21 years old. Uh, been here for a little over 24 years now. Started as a volunteer police officer and then part-time, full-time, and worked my way through the, through the ranks over those 24 years. During that time, I spent time on the Delaware County SWAT team and worked through a lot of different specialty assignments. So, I always affectionately tell everybody, I was uh, born and raised on the west side of Columbus, but I grew up here in Genoa Township. I understand what the residents expect of us, and the residents can expect that that service is not only gonna continue, but even enhance as we move to the future a volunteer giving time and talent to the community they love. So I, so I, I live in Genoa, I volunteer and I work at, um, in Genoa. So my high school a long time ago, we, um, so we got some eggs from the, from the township and we started like putting like past, like putting all the candy in there. And then after high school, I, I decided to, after um, college, I decided to start helping out. It's just the people are so, like, people are so nice. A business owner investing in a vision. My name is Dan Bino. I'm a New York transplant. Moved over here with my wife three years ago. Uh, uh, we're Genoa residents, and uh, we love it. We're standing in 6463 Maxtown Road uh, in this beautiful uh, property of ours, and uh, which is going to actually, uh, right now it's a residential, but it's going to be uh, uh, turn into commercial a music rehearsal facility, which uh, my wife and I owns, uh, own in New York, and we're looking to, uh, to expand it over here with, with this magnificent uh, property over here. The name is Multisound Studios. So what we do is, uh, is we uh, facilitate for musicians. We set up a workshop for musicians, people in the creative field, bands, uh, solo drummers, uh, DJs, and they come and they, um, they rent a room from us on a monthly basis. And then they sit shop there. And uh, the emphasis is on sound insulation and making sure that, uh, you know, that there's no bleed in between the rooms. Genoa Township didn't just happen. Genoa Township was created over the course of more than 200 years with the hands of thousands upon thousands of individuals each leaving their mark on the history of our community. I am Renee Vaughn. Chair of the Board of Trustees, serving alongside Connie Goodman and Mark Antonetz, and our Fiscal Officer, Pat Meyer. And here we are, 2023 has faded into 2024. I am proud to say that the state of our township is strong.